if you Google top DevOps tools or top platform engineering tools or top cloud native tools, here's the thing. Number one, you're going to get a lot of different links. Number two, every time you click one of those links, you're going to see different tools in each link. You know, you're going to see a bunch of lists. They're going to all have different tools. So what's the problem? The problem is that the landscape is huge right now. There are too many tools. Nobody knows what to use. Nobody knows which one is better than the other one. And this is mid to senior level engineers, entry level engineers, completely lost. Sometimes I'm completely lost. Sometimes principal distinguished level engineers are completely lost because there are so many different tools to use in the landscape. So how can we kind of fix this? Well, I believe a really good entry point into fixing this is having a central platform that incorporates all the tools we're already using. CI CD tools like GitHub Actions, Argo CD, various monitoring and observability tools, the things that you're already using. So you don't have to change tools. You just manage them in one location. All right. So we're going to take a look at how to install DevTron, which will fix this problem for us. All right. So first things first here, I'm just going to run kubectl get nodes and you can see here I'm running on an AKS cluster version 1.28 now regardless if you're running on prem or uh, you know another managed kubernetes service it doesn't matter and I'm going to show two different methods of installation first just the standard method and then I'll show how to implement devtron with a CI CD and Argo CD backing all right so first things first you want to make sure that you add the devtron helm chart update it if you need to and then run this Helm package and you're going to install it in the Devtron CD namespace. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run kubectl get all namespace Devtron CD. All right, we can see that there are a few different resources here. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is this could take a little bit to get up and running, particularly this Devtron pod here. And if I go ahead and just kind of show why, and take this run kubectl logs namespace devtron cd all right now notice you're going to see a postgres error here and what this error is stating is it can't connect to the database all right so essentially this pod comes up before the database is ready to go so we just need to give it a little bit of time but i would say after about three restarts it should be good to go so we're at about, well, let's see, three here, right? That one came up and then we should see it up and operational shortly here. Let's give it a minute or two. All right, we can see here after about two minutes or so, we are good to go. So the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna run kubectl get service namespace devtron cd, all right? Now I'm on AKS, so I have the ability to get a load balancer IP. If you don't, you're gonna to wanna to just do a port forward to this Devtron service here, because this is the GUI. So I'm gonna, actually, you know what? Before I copy that, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the command to get the password for the GUI. All right, let's go and paste that in here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to copy this IP address here for the GUI. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy the password here. All right, so we're gonna log in, the username is admin, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna type in that password. That password came from Kubernetes Secrets. And then we come up to this page here and we have the option to connect a cluster, install the CICD integration, et cetera, or we can just skip and go to the web page all right now we are at the web page here and if i go to resource explorer notice how i have my cluster available now the first thing that we can see right off the bat with the cluster which is really cool is this resource browser so i can see anything from my pods let me just zoom in here a little bit and then let's say I click on, you know, one of the pods here, I can actually see the YAML and I can update the YAML if I wanted to. Now, of course, always remember, whatever you update, save it in source control. Otherwise you could have a lot of configuration drift, but we can also see any events that occur in the pod, any logs, 
and then we can get a terminal right into the pod. So the really, really cool thing right off the bat for me, at least with this is I have the ability to not have to worry about the kubectl client. I can just go in right here, manage any cluster that I have, see the events, see the logs, etc. I can also create resources if I wanted to. I can literally just paste in YAML configuration again, make sure it's always in source control. But point is, is that I have full range to my cluster and it's everything. It's all of the resources right down to any custom resources. So even anything from an Argo CD perspective, I can see right here, right? Resource quotas, all of it. So really, really cool stuff. Now, the next thing that I want to show is I want to go back to VS Code and we're going to Helm uninstall Devtron namespace Devtron CD. And the reason why is because we're going to install Devtron with the CI CD installation and implementation and Argo. Now, of course, we could have just updated the Helm chart, but I wanted to show, you know, from scratch what it would look like. Now, one thing that we just want to confirm here, notice how we have some namespaces that hang around. So we'll run a do a kubectl delete ns argo devtron cd devtron ci devtron cd monitoring because you could get some error stating that they already exist. Oh, kubectl delete ns devtron cd had a typo there oh all right actually already deleted uh let's see they are terminating let's do try that one more time kubectl delete ns devtron ci all right cool so we're going to go ahead and we're going to give this a second or so this is going to terminate and again it just seems like some objects kind of get left behind when we do the helm uninstall but should be Good to go here. All right, perfect. So now I'm going to install the Helm chart with the CI CD integration and the Argo uh, integration. And what this is going to do is this is going to give us the stack manager packages out of the box with CI CD and Argo. So let's go ahead and give that a few minutes to get up and running and then we'll take a look at the GUI. And if we run kubectl get pods namespace devtron CD right we're gonna see a couple of different pods here that we didn't see before primarily around the Argo CD implementations so if I run kubectl get service namespace devtron CD we know we now have this new GUI here if we try on the old one we deleted it so it wouldn't, won't work right I'm gonna log in and then get the password. All right, so now again, we're gonna see a couple of different things here. Application groups, but primarily, if we go to the Devston, Devtron Stack Manager, we now see that Build and Deploy is enabled and GitOps for Argo CD is enabled. So these are the two implementations that get integrated for us if we enable the modules for CI CD and the Argo enabler. So that's how you can get up and running with Devtron to get your initial deployment up. And as the content goes with Devtron, I'm gonna be showcasing a bunch of different other features and resources as well. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it. And we'll see you again next time.